Hi, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the staff function and how we can use this function in a SQL. I'm going to show you guys an example of the staff function. Uh, first, let me give you a predefined about the staff function. Staff function is used to insert a string into another string. Uh, either you can either replace or only insert. For example, let me take a table here. Which one? Let me see. Going to employee table. Uh, not this one. Let me go to another another one. This one. Okay. Let me go to this one and tells you guys if this. Okay. I'm going to use my. Uh, Staff function here. I will say here. No, oh, let me delete this one. I will say staff and open parentheses. The first thing is ask me about uh, the expression, like what the column that you want to do the modification on. I will say date of birth, comma the start position. The start position it's uh, from what the letter that you want to start to do your modification. So I, what I want to do is I'm going to replace this dashes into backward slash. So if I count one, two, three, four, five, this is the position, the number of the position of this uh, letter that, or the symbol that I want to change or replace is the fifth one. So I'll say five. And the number of the characters, only this one. I don't want to do like many. It's only one. Okay, if I say two, it's going to take two two characters. So only one. And I want, here it says, I want you to specify what exactly to want to replace it with. I want to replace it with backward slash. Okay, and I will say here as date of birth or like let's see a new underscore date of birth i'm in this uh right now script i'm going to change only the first one let me see here see guys it's changed only the first dash the first symbol if i want to go to the second one i need to continue uh counting here i said five the number of the position of this one five six seven eight so this one it's eight and i am going to add another staff function and here i will continue uh it's number eight and only one character or one symbol and i want you to replace it with a backward slash and this is my new date of birth. I may replace it with a new one. And this one will be like replaced with date of birth. So this is how you can use the stuff. If you want to not to replace, you want to only add. If you want to add this second number, it will be zero. That's mean I don't want to replace anything. I only want to add. If I say here zero, you will see the hash right here along with backward slash. See, this is the original hash for my date of birth. What I did is I only added and here see it's changed because now I have the number here is changed. I have to put here nine because I added an, another another symbol here so it's increased into nine so now it's moved uh one letter or one character forward so now all together see this one the original one and i added those the slash backward slashes into my original uh column so it's either or either uh add or replace like this Okay, I'm gonna put it back. 
to replace my dash into backward slash. I hope you guys uh, uh, enjoyed watching my videos and see you for next video. Thank you.